Welcome to the Certificate in Engineer, Procure and Construct or EPC Project Management Workshop. Most EPC workshops are about setting up the EPC contract and do nothing for the project manager who has to run the project on a daily basis. The EPC contract is set up by others, yet you are required to manage it, a very difficult position to be in. This workshop gives you the background information on EPC project management so you can be proactive in your management. To manage an EPC project, you need to understand the owner's project delivery options, what the EPC process is, and what the owner is responsible for. You have to understand project management, cost management, schedule management, and commissioning and startup of a facility. These topics will be discussed in this workshop. The workshop consists of 31 modules, of which this is Module 1. Module 1 is about the project delivery systems, which will be defined shortly. The workshop is broken out into two parts. The first part looks at EPC contracts from the owner's point of view. The owner will do his upfront work, like the project lifecycle, to get a viable project, then get into the tasks of hiring an EPC contractor. There are certain tasks that the owner is responsible for that you need to know about and these should be in the contract. For startup, the owner, EPC contractor and others have to coordinate deliveries, schedules and owner personnel to make the project a success. If these responsibilities are not identified in the contract, then there are problems ahead. The second part of the workshop is from the EPC contractor's point of view. You have been awarded an EPC contract and now you have to design, procure and construct the project. You will need to review the contract to see what the owner is responsible for and what coordination is required for startup. This slide outlines how the workshop is set up. It follows the development of a project. A lot of EPC contracts are awarded to engineering firms who then have to hire contractors to do the construction or joint ventures with general contractors are entered into. Modules 1 to 4 talks about what the owner goes through to award an EPC contract. We will look at how the owner develops a project, how and what goes into a request for proposal, and finally the EPC contract itself. Modules 5 to 18 go through what is required to manage the engineering design and controlling the project. Modules 19 to 23 covers the procurement effort. As the EPC contractor, you will need to procure equipment, material and other contractors so you need to know about procurement. Module 24 is all about construction management. How is it done? What is needed to do it? You should know what is involved as you may have to hire a construction manager. Module 25 and 26 reviews a tendered document. I have it located with construction management as it requires input from your joint venture contractor to get it right. It cannot be done in isolation. As the EPC contractor, you will still need to hire and manage other contractors. Contractors would be those with specific skills that a general would not have. An example that comes to mind would be contractors who do industrial tile work or you may hire a contractor to supply and install an industrial boiler. Module 27 covers contract administration. On large projects there is usually a person who does the contract administration. On small projects it is usually done by the construction manager. Module 28 talks about con commissioning procedures. Long before you get to startup you have to have procedures in place to hand over the project from construction to startup to operations. Module 29 talks about training, which has to take place before commissioning takes place. Module 30 reviews commissioning and startup and methods of organizing it so all involved understand who is doing what. Module 31 discusses what is needed to close out the projects. To receive your certificate, you will have to write a two-hour exam, which you can take online at your leisure. The questions are based on the material covered in this workshop. To register for the online exam, contact info at pmac-agpc.ca.